Tragedy in Texas has reignited the debate over gun control in Lansing, specifically whether CPL holders should be permitted to carry guns inside schools and churches. The issue came up uh, years ago after Sandy Hook and now being discussed again. Steve Garagiola is live in Lansing and Steve Senate Republicans uh, behind this conversation right now. Yeah, and it's on a fast track moving through the legislature here. It was before the Government Operations Committee today. Uh, the committee room was jam-packed with people, and as you might expect, there are very strong feelings on both sides of the question. Senate Bills 584 and 586 together would allow gun owners with a concealed carry permit to carry their weapons inside Michigan schools, daycare centers, college classrooms and dormitories, sports arenas, bars, and other locations now designated gun-free zones. No, we're not pleased, and we don't think Michiganders are going to be pleased either, because leaving this, you have to think, who in the world is in favor of this legislation? Supporters of the bill argue that in an active shooter situation, like we saw in Texas this past weekend, citizens cannot depend on law enforcement for protection. It takes four to ten minutes for law enforcement to arrive. Most active shooter scenarios are over in two. By the time they arrive, it's over. The idea of having somebody else there that can respond immediately means lives are saved. One issue critics point to is the minimum level of training required under these bills. Republican Senate Majority Leader Arlen Meekoff says it's more than adequate. It's four hours additional beyond the CPL, which is already eight, and range time. I find it irresponsible because we're considering people with 16, 16 hours of training capable of defending people in crowded public places with people running from place to place. The committee listened to public uh, comment for about an hour this afternoon and then voted by a vote of three to two. Both those bills now pass on to the full Senate and because it's on a fast track, the Senate is expected to vote on it tomorrow. Kimberly, Devin, back to you. Now, Steve, we had a bill uh, similar to this back in 2012, and Governor Snyder vetoed it then. So what's uh, the guess here on what would happen this time around? Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess there really is no guess. The governor's office has said the governor will wait to see what the final version of the bill is yeah. that lands on his desk, if it does land on his desk, and then he will review it and make a decision then. Yeah. All right, Steve Garagiola in Lansing.